All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash, the honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, whom rule well, teach well, being great examples for his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation, the hopeful leg out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds <clears throat> in the name of. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopeful like the believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And what I want to get into, all right, this morning, you know, it's dealing with a scripture I was reading in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verse 6. All right, and I want to get into it and break it down. The Lord will, you know, you brothers and you sisters are edified. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 4 and 6. It says, um, uh, 4 and 13 so like the, Ecclesiastes 4 and 13 it says better is a poor and wise child than the old and foolish king who will be no more admonished okay and when you go into it alright we have become you know these wise children okay in the spirit alright we become these wise children and Esau eat them is that old foolish king who will no more be admonished. And I want to read it in the um, NLT. This is Ecclesiastes 4 and 13. It's better to be a poor but wise youth than an old and foolish king who refuses all advice. Okay? So let's go into how we all right, have become, you know, those wise children. Okay? So let's get, um, let's go from there. Let's get this in Matthew chapter 11. It's the book of Matthew chapter 11, verse 25. And it says, at that time, Yahweh shot answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and has revealed them unto the babes, okay? And we're considered the babes, you know, because one thing about a child, you know, within society, a child will be considered what? Insignificant, you see? Unimportant, you know, for serious matters, but that's whom the Lord has given this wisdom to, you know, those that will be considered insignificant, unimportant of this society, man. We became these wise children, man. Okay, let's read in the NLT. It says this is Matthew eleven twenty five. At that same time, Yahweh Shah prayed this prayer: "O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever, and for revealing them to the childlike." Okay, and revealing them to the childlike man, and that's what the Lord has done in these times. Those that are childlike, and what do the scriptures say? You know. Because Esau thinks he's wise. He thinks that he doesn't need to be told anything. He thinks he doesn't need correction. Okay? Because the Lord has allowed him to tap into the left-hand side and, you know, go deep into his technology and his witchcraft. You know? That he has became proud and hardened. You see? But for us to get this truth, the scriptures say we have to be what? As a child. Matthew 18 and 1. At the same time came the disciples unto Yahweh Shah saying, who is greater in the kingdom of heaven? And Yahweh Shah called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay? <laughs> you see? So Yahweh Shah is telling us that we have to become as little children because what? A, ch uh, a child is what? Very impressionable, easy to mold. When the younger a child is, the easier they are to mold. Okay? As the scriptures say, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he get older, he will not depart. Okay? And that's why Esau, on the left-hand side, he starts to groom children in wickedness early. Because they're impressionable and, 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 it, and it sticks to them. You see? And that's what we become in righteousness on the right-hand side as little children, man. Very impressionable very moldable in the spirit, man. You know, men and women being molded into what? 
All right, the Lord sees us pleasing, man. Okay? It says, whosoever, um, whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So the phase one is becoming as a little child, you know, impressionable, man. And that's why scriptures say, well, we have to be born again. So we had to become little children to become wise, man. You know? Let's go here. And Esau is that stubborn king. They think he has it, man. So what do the scriptures say about that? Let's get that in um Proverbs. Twenty six and twelve, it says, "See thou a man wise in his own conceit. There is more hope of a fool than of him." And Esau, you know, in this context, is this man that's wise in his own conceit. You know, he think that he's gonna overcome prophecy through his wisdom. All right, his left hand wisdom, his left hand means of witchcraft, man. Okay, but it says, "See thou a man wise in his own conceit." <laughs> Reading Proverbs 26 and 12 again. See thou man wise in his own conceit. There is more hope of a fool than of him. Okay. There is more hope of a fool than of him. <laughs> you see. And when you go to the scriptures. And Esau has no hope man. And when you go to the scriptures. I believe that's in Corinthians. You know. See if I can find it real quick. Because in order, I think that's Corinthians. Yep. This is um first Corinthians three and eighteen it said, Let no man deceive himself. If any among you seem to be wise in the world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. You see? So we became a fool which is not no empty headed. Okay, because we had to empty out all the wisdom that we thought we had in this society, man. Okay? And be filled with the true wisdom. Okay, you see that? So you see how it links up with Proverbs uh, 26 and 12? Okay? Because someone that's wise in their own consent, they're hopeless, man, because they think they got it. They can't be molded. They think how they are is the, how, how they're supposed to be. You know? Well, they say stuck in their ways, man. Okay? But nah, man, we had to become fools. Okay, it's like um, Elder Abaya always going to the word fool, which means empty headed. Okay, we had to empty out the madness of this world and be filled with the wisdom of the scriptures, man. Okay, the wisdom of righteousness of Yahweh by Shema Al Shai. <laughs> you see? So let's go here because I say Esau is the, 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 the king. All right, they can't be told anything, man, as you go in. To the book of Psalms, the 50th chapter. All right, Psalms 50 and, and 16, it says, But unto the wicked, and this is speaking to Esau Edom, okay, beginning with the elites, man, the Amalek. It said, But unto the wicked, the most I says, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou should take as my covenant in thy mouth? Yeah, and see, they're in the land saying that they're us, okay? They're in our land claiming to be us, but they do nothing the Bible says, man. They do the exact opposite of the other Bible, okay? And then they can't be corrected with the Bible, okay? So the Lord is saying, what is what is that to do to declare my statute, okay? If you if you those people, you're supposed to be governing the earth with the scriptures, man. 
if you fulfill prophecy of those people, you know, Israel going back to the land, the the the, the world is supposed to be filled with prophecies, man. Okay, I mean the world is supposed to be filled with the law. Okay, <laughs> this is the world. This current society is anti messiah, more anti messiah than ever. We we're witnessing the biggest rebellion against righteousness under this devil's rulership, man. You know, but he's in our land claiming to be us, man. Okay, verse seventeen says, "Seeing thou hatest instructions, and castest my words behind thee, man." And this is what these devils do. The president swearing on the Bible, but then the next day he uh he's giving liberty to the uh, uh alphabet community, man. Okay, you know, so he he puts on this front. As if he's about the word in front of the masses. And then, you know, he governs in pure wickedness, man. It's reading in the NLT, Psalms 50 and 17, it said, For you refuse my discipline and treat my words like trash. And that's what this devil does. Okay? So this is why we're, you know, in, 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 in the midst of what, man? A transition. Is Isaiah 26 and 10. It said, let favor be showed to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, and he's in our land now, <clears throat> he will deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Okay? And this is what this devil is doing real time, man. Favor has been shown to him. He has a resource. He has an influence in the earth. He has everything he needs to enforce righteousness in the earth, man. And he won't do it. Okay? Because he's the wicked. And he won't be corrected in righteousness, man. Okay? So the Lord, let's end it here. He's going to solve that problem. <laughs> you see? He's going to solve that problem, man. Let's get that in um uh, get that in some rock. It's the book of Sirach, chapter ten, verse four. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable, man. Okay, and that's Yahweh Shai. And us becoming those wise children, we're being groomed to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Okay? We're being trained up to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. You know? And the Lord's going to put Yahweh Shai over the earth, and it's going to be profitable, man. Because right now, everyone is suffering under this wicked society, man. You know? You you know we can go into details and be here another hour, but everyone is suffering under this wicked society, man. You know, there's nothing but heartache, pain, confusion, dysfunction, uh, loss. You know, but now nah, we're coming into life, okay? So Lord will, you know, you brothers, and you few sisters are edified. To the next time I say shalom, calling y'all shalom, Bob, Bob, DTA soon shalom.